Hello, anybody. I am El Packer Patrol, and this is uh, the Yog. The Yogi Yog Yogerson. I'm here with Mulligan. Hi. The Yogi Yog Yogerson, really? Mm hmm. Yep. Yogi yeah, Bear. And, and also, your name is now Mulligan. It's, it's like Mulligan, except Mulligan. Oh, that's be way better than my actual name, so thank you. You should all call her Molly. She really I loves it. I will straight up come to your house in the middle of the night, Rob, and that I will sounds... fill your pillow full of slugs. <laughs> wow, that's pretty fucked up. Uh, okay. All right, who do you want to be? I want to be the Orange Man. Orange Man. All right, I think I'm going to be Red Lady this time. Oh my god, we should totally hook up. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It begins. Color of fire. Um, I'll start. Yep. Okay. The Og will be here in six weeks, and no one expects it. Not a one of us. We just keep on living our lives week by week, unaware. Um, I'm ready, lady. Yeah. 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 All right. Why are you uh, always first? Because I'm like way cooler. Basically, um, I'm gonna go to the alchemy tower and I'm gonna clean the lab. Oh wait! Oh, Maybe I figured out. I figured out how to go back. I press shift. Nice. All right, that's pretty cool. You spend the week cleaning up noxious chemicals. You're paid one wealth for your labor and getting one physique and one magic. One day, while in the tower, one of the alchemists asks you to watch his potion while he's out. Soon after he leaves, the potion begins bubbling out of control. If you don't do something soon, it'll explode. Uh, I don't know. Was that would that be finesse? Probably. I'm gonna try to throw it out the window. You toss the potion out the window and watch its contents empty into the town's water supply. Fuck Quick you, Ghoul. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> you gain one mind. You gain one mind from that? <laughs> yeah, I'm we a quick thinker. We all learned something today, <laughs> I poison the water supply. It's good for the town. You take off early for the day, hoping nobody finds out. So not only did I poison the water supply, but I also cut out of work early. I'm a Just nice dude. Not the best example of employee... I guess not. Top-notchness, really. Top-notchness. Top-notchness. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna go to the tavern. The tavern. It's a fucking alcoholic. All oh, the alcoholics! Shut, shut, shut. Okay, sorry. Um, I'm going to bartend. Oh. You assume you think... those drink. Well, you know? I mean, you were just talking about shots, I would think, you know. <laughs> what do you usually drink, Rob? What do I drink? Yeah. I drink, I drink beer. Just beer? Yeah, I don't really like liquor very much. It's not my thing. I mean, like, I'll drink it, but I, I'm not that into it. I just, what are we, 12 and a half? How primitive. <laughs> uh, dude, beer, if you get a good beer, it's wonderful. How it's a good time. I know. I usually go very Russian. I'd have vodka. <laughs> uh, I can't drink any more vodka. I had too much vodka when I was younger, but above the age of 21, because otherwise that would be illegal. Uh, and... Rob's oh actually my God. 52, by the way. I, yeah, I'm 50. You guys ever see Benjamin Button? It's me. It's me. I'm basically, I'm Brad Pitt. Uh, under under my human skin. And then under Brad Pitt is, is an alpaca. So, you Did know. you know Brad Pitt had ear surgery to put his ears back a bit more because they were sticking out? Really? I think that's fucking adorable. <laughs> I thought you were going to say ear sex, and I was going to ask you what that entailed because that sounds very strange. Um, oh, I, I could tell you but have to be out of the video. really oh i see okay fair enough no um, um, so um spend the week serving drinks at the tavern you earn one wealth and tips and get into charm because you could be fucking charming up the butt one day an impromptu drinking contest is held i'm gonna fucking enter that shit oh yeah you down pint after pint drinking as if your life depended on it you end up blacking out <laughs> new when you come to, you find yourself in a home you don't recognize, and only your underwear. You seem to do that a lot. Ah, uh, it's a typical, casual Friday night. <laughs> your clothes are nowhere to be found, and you seem to be the only one home. What happened? Hyuk, hyuk, hyuk. <laughs> they say the last time it came, the Yogg devoured houses whole, stole lives, tore families and family members apart. <laughs> but that was so very long ago. There's no, there's no way it could happen again, right? Right, guys? No so way. Nice. Tore family and family <laughs> members apart, kids. Just tore them up. Just tore them up good. 
You're just a uh, terrible human being. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go to the... Yeah, 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 yeah. meditate. You spend the week in deep meditation. You gain one magic and two mind. One day you notice a woman watering the garden plants. Suddenly the plants sprout giant mouths! She's... Oh shit, she's eaten immediately. Oh my goodness gracious. The plants then uproot themselves and begin charging towards the denizens of the park. You manage to escape alongside everyone else. And this you didn't it? do anything to prevent it. Oh. What do you do? Oh my god, I can rally the town to- I've never seen this one! Or stay- yeah. I'm gonna- fuck it, I'm gonna rally the town to, to fight. Nobody listens to a word you have to say! <laughs> what a blow to your ego, I lose one charm. The park is closed down for extermination! I just destroyed the, the gardens. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> hey guys, let's go kill these killer plants! Hey, fuck you, boo, you stink! <laughs> <laughs> really like that one, huh? Oh god. <laughs> Guys, help! We have to get these plants, we have to not- we have to kill them now! Fuck you, man! <laughs> hey, fuck you, buddy! Why don't you go what fucking the... kill the plants, huh? <laughs> and you're like, oh, that, that's hey, painful. That's not very nice. Guy, huh? Yeah, hurt my feelings. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. What is this Okay. Sound? Oh, that sound is so good. I think that's from Zelda? I can't hear what it is, so... No, that's from Pokemon, isn't it? Pokemon. Pokemon! I right, would we're... like to go to the tavern again. The tavern. And bartend. Spend the week serving drinks at the tavern. You earn one wealth and tips and gain two charm. The very first day of the week when you walk through the tavern doors, everyone cheers. Wow, never had that ever in my <laughs> life. You're basically Kramer before all the, you know, really bad stuff. I need a moment. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Um, Pour some out for Kramer. Oh, no, just I've never had anyone cheer for me. Mm. Like having me around. <laughs> um, apparently during your last drunken outing, you were a party animal while you were blacked out. Mm. Awesome. Legend spreads of your party hard spirit. You gain two fucking charm. Look how much charm I fucking have already. Yeah, you're charming. I am quite charming in real life, guys. I'm not Are you? Mm, uh, more endearing, I'd say, because I'm fucking awkward. It was honest in a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The earth shook, the air went still. Alright, well, I trashed the garden, so, um... I have almost three times as much charm as you do. Do you? Look at that shit. Yeah, you do. But I suck at everything else. I should probably yeah. get around more. Well, I've got great mind, so suck it, basically. You have eh mind. I have really good mind. I've got mind enough to go to the hospital and tend to patients. Atta boy. I spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. I get two mind and earn one wealth. One day, the bloodletting leeches somehow escape from their containers. Leeches start flooding into the hallway. Hashtag release to leeches. There are some. There are people screaming everywhere as the leeches slither towards them. Somebody do something! That was the, <laughs> one of the doctors. All right, so I can zap the leeches with magic. Or you, yeah, I'm gonna use zap the leeches with magic. You wave your hand, unleashing a wave of magic to disintegrate the leeches. The leeches all poof into dust. You save the hospital with your quick thinking. You gain one mind. Baller. Um, I'm gonna go to the palace. The palace. Um. Do uh. Oh. I'm gonna go to the ball. Ball it up. Party animal. Party animal. Mm. You spend the week attending fancy gatherings. You gain two charm and one finesse. Look how much fucking charm I have. <laughs> one day you overhear the gesture tell a joke to a group of people. Oh, man. Everyone laughs if you don't understand the joke at all. Uh, I'm charming enough I can ask for an explanation. You approach the gesture asking him what exactly the joke meant. Mm hmm? Oh, you're just really liking that, huh? Yeah, I like that. Uh, the jester mm -hmm. scolds you at length about the dangers of explaining jokes. Something about puppies and then dying when you dissect them. You don't quite understand, but everyone around you starts laughing. Presumably, the jester had just made another joke at your expense. You feel humiliated and mocked. Yeah, you do. You lose one, I lose one charm. Ha <laughs> ha! Nerd. 
weird. And then the world was a howling fury. Chaos. Screaming. <laughs> the sound of all we knew being pulled in half. Alright, I'm gonna go with the like forest. face. Well, my face is being pulled in half. That's what it looks like anyway. Oh wow. That's that's Oh wow. That's, that's, that's yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, oh well. That, yeah, that really hurts my feelings. Oh, have yet. you had any of that hot dish yet? <laughs> Please don't go the hot dish. If you guys don't know what hot dish is, look it up. It's fucking nasty. It's like some Minnesotan thing. Hey no. It looks pretty gross. Don't don't uh don't be insulting my people. <laughs> you don't even like hot dish, do you? I mean, I mean it, it seems like it no. might be kind of delicious, in a way. It's like a tater tot casserole and like a bunch of canned vegetables. Don't, no, no. don't be a dick. Go. <laughs> you spend the week cutting down trees for the village. You gain two physique and earn yourself one wealth. One day, you stumble upon a dryad picking flowers in a field. Upon noticing you, she runs excitedly. Excuse me, miss. Would you care to dance? She asks. I've been wanting to dance for so long, but nobody else has been around to dance with. She sighs. Uh, I'd love to dance. She giggles and takes you by the hand. She starts humming out a song, and the two of you dance together in the middle of the forest. You accidentally step on her toes several times while dancing. After the third time, she stops you. She thanks you for the dance and limps off into the night. You <laughs> practice dancing a little. You gain one finesse. She's like, I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> why, why did I dance with that man? My uh, Harry woman. Carrie, the dryad. Yeah, I guess you're right. I um, really Alchemy do. Tower. I gotta get my mind up. Alchemy Tower. I'm gonna brew a potion. Brew that potion, girl. Uh, spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. Gain two magic in one mind. One day you hear one of the alchemists shout, Eureka! When you look over to see what he's done, you spot a small, previously dead ferret come to life. I figured out the antidote to death, the alchemist exclaims. The undead ferret lets out a horrific noise and lumbers about slowly. It's a fucking zombie ferret. Yeah, man. Destroy it. You can destroy it. Well, it's right. gonna cut. You smack the ferret off the counter and stomp on it till it stops twitching. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the alchemist is horrified. <laughs> Gain one physique. Yeah, look at my muscles. <laughs> Sorry I killed your life's work, but yeah, <laughs> look at how ripped I've gotten. Murdered Frankenstein's monster before it could do anything. I've seen uh, The Walking Dead too too much. That's true. You really it, have. Yeah. Was it your turn to read or was it mine? I think it was mine. I think it's, I think it's you. Okay, when it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebel, move on, be strong, or have we forgotten? I don't know, have we? Um, I haven't forgotten. You I mean, gross. <laughs> wow. Put some pants on. I really should. Um, I'm at eleven Minda, so I should go to eleven. What? Sorry. Uh, Minda. Okay. It's how the uh, it's Linda called... Minda. Uh, no, it's very, very different. Uh, very different thing. Um. You know what? I'm gonna go to the hospital, and I'm gonna attend to patients again. Uh, I spend the week diagnosing and blah, 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 I get two wealth and one mind, or two mind and one wealth. Over the course of the week, you notice more and more people coming to the hospital with strange deformities. One of the doctors determines that these patients must be drinking some magically contaminated water somewhere in the slums. <laughs> Whoops, Rats Daisy. Done it again. <laughs> you make a mental note to boil everything before you drink it. You gain one mind. <laughs> nice. I gained. I've gained two mind by poisoning the water supply. I'm going to make a mental note to myself, like, hey, boil your water. I'm not going to let anybody else know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. I'm um, going to go to the palace. The palace. Uh, do administration work. Spend the week doing paperwork for the palace. You're paid two wealth and gain one mind. One day, you decide to lean up against a wall and just take a break. It rotates as you apply pressure and you stumble down a set of stairs. You enter a large, dusty room filled with barrels. You found the king's famous wine cellar. Party, party, party. Um. Ah, what do you think I should do? I think you should host a secret party because that sounds super cool. Yeah, but uh, then I'm going to get drunk again. Yeah, well, you do get hammered a lot. I mean, that's the thing. <laughs> More than one way. I'm going to keep <laughs> quiet about what I saw. Really? All right. Just knowing you have a secret to hide is so exciting. <laughs>
<laughs> Piag, it's almost here. Almost. Almost. <laughs> really? Like, huh? <laughs> so exciting! Oh, I'm gonna see. <laughs> Spend the week experimenting with a different motion brews. You gain two magic in one mind. One day, you hear cries for help coming from the next room. Running over to investigate, you see the Yagmas have accidentally created an ooze monster! I already dispatched the ooze. I'm gonna use it with magic. Hey, Rob, you wanna know a secret? Too bad, I'm gonna keep it because it's so exciting! <laughs> It's pretty important to to, uh, to keep your secrets, man. It's very exciting. The alchemists all cheer as I blast the ooze monster into uh, ashes, and I gain a charm, a single charm, just the one. Sick. <laughs> That's bad. I'm going to go to. Hmm. Some um, hospital. The hospital. Wait. wait. Oh. <laughs> I can go back now, so. Oh yeah, I forget. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, let's go to the hospital. I'm gonna okay. tend patients. I was All considering right. going to slums, but I decided not to. You sure? Yeah. Spend a week diagnosing and tending to the sick. You gain two mind and earn one wealth. Look how much mind and charm I have. One day a patient comes into the hospital with sores that nobody's ever seen before. While walking by his bedside, he looks to you and rudely asks for a glass of water. I'll get him some water. Bring him a small glass to quench his thirst. He takes a large sip, swigs it around, and then proceeds to spit it at you. Water hits you right in the face. Oh god, he's probably got HIV or something. <laughs> oh god. While cleaning up, you scold the obviously insane man for spitting on you. Oh god, I'm ill. That night when you get home, you feel dizzy and start having vivid hallucinations about ancient wizards. Fuck, I'm dumb. Three magic from that. Look how much magic I lose through mine, though. Okay. The storm arrives in the night. By the morning, it still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us through a grinder. Drowns us. Crushes us. Ruins us. But then it ends. We see the graveyard our home has become. Our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we past saving? All right, so I got 15 minds. What'd you call me? I'm going to die of some illness. Yeah, you probably are. You sounded really angry for something like, what did you call me? And <laughs> what, I was like, oh my god. What did you just call me? Um, all right, I have lots of minds. I'm going to be a doctor. You take it upon yourself to help the sick and injured from the yog. Despite your vast... My, why are my hands still shaky? That's annoying. Is it finesse then that you need? Not physique? I guess it's finesse. Yes. You lose a few, imagine the same most of this helps the survival effort quite a bit. Alright, you gotta like really help the survival effort, or, or otherwise we're gonna get the medium ending again. Um. Oh, fuck. I gotta be a leader, don't I? I think so. You got charm in mind. Yeah, let's do that. You take it upon yourself to be the leader of the survivors, but I'm sick. Look how emo you are. <laughs> Black and flaky like my soul! Immediately upon stepping in front of the crowd with, of able work, able workers, spiral sores form all over your skin. You feel surges of uncontrollable energy building up inside of you. Oh shit! Your mind goes completely blank. You lose three mind. Someone rushes up to you asking if you're all right. With only a glance, you set them aflame. They let. Then you let out a scream that shakes the earth and shatters the skulls of all nearby. A river of blood coats the ground as you walk about, reveling in your destruction. It's reveling. You black out. <laughs> when you awaken, you're surrounded by darkness. You're not entirely sure where you are, but you are sure that you've probably ruined the town's chances of survival. Well, thanks, Ma. <laughs> That's what you get for feeding the water to the crazy guy. And so... We set about our tasks, once more living our lives, this time in a way we might never have expected or even wanted. But in the end, Molly fucked everything <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> Fucking murdered everybody. We were defeated. Those of us left struggled to put our homes to rights, but the effort was futile. Doomed. The city bled survivors, eventually becoming a husk. A dead thing. And perhaps the Yogg was only partly to blame. God damn it, I'm a dick. You, you crushed people's skulls. Oh my god! That's yeah. horrific! Yeah, you murdered the hell out of some people. 
uh, in the ruins of the village, you try to set up some form of infirmary to help cull the rampant diseases running amok. You try to find helpers, but it appears anyone able enough has either fled the city or died. Hmm, I wonder who did that. You no! Try your best to cure the scores of plagues killing people all over the ruins. Hmm, maybe that's on you, Maul. Unfortunately, all your contacts with various diseases takes its toll. You die without saving anyone. Well, that's messed up. You can no longer see. You can no longer taste. You've lost control. You can feel your body doing horrible magical things. You feel licks of flame firing from your fingertips. You can hear cries for mercy cut short by bursts of intense fire. One day, it all ends. Then you feel nothing. Oh my wow. god! <laughs> you fucked some shit up. I have never gotten that ending. That's pretty hilarious. Yeah, you, you messed up everything there, Mal. I blame you entirely. I'm you killed everybody. It's dark right now. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm putting on the light. <laughs> you killed all the people, man. With your fire fingers. Crushing skulls and stuff, and everybody had plagues. <laughs> terrible lesson learned here today kids don't ever help anyone <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's it that's why i love that's it being so nice do you watch uh uh adventure time a little bit there's this one episode of adventure time that was really funny because it, it was about uh like i think jake is like hey we always solve our problems with violence we should try to not do that and they <laughs> go through this whole episode trying to not beat, beat people up and stuff and then um and then like they mess everything up everything goes terribly wrong and at the end of the episode they come to the conclusion that they say out loud which is like you know what all that pacifism totally didn't work we should just use violence to solve our problems and that's like the moral of the story of that episode for the children's show which i thought was very funny that's how uh, i try to live my life yeah just use violence to solve your problem so if you've learned anything today here on the yog friends you've learned that use violence to solve your problems It'll probably work. Don't probably. actually, though. <laughs> you probably shouldn't actually do that. Um, but uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for coming on, Mal. Uh, do you want to tell people who you are, what you do? Hi, I'm Mal's, uh, or Mal's is so bored. I do the YouTubes. Uh, basically, I do blogs, and then I also do some video game content as well, which I've just recently started. But, um, yeah, I'm just I uh, do a couple. Multi I do a lot of multiplayer stuff with my friends, including Alpaca Patrol, who's gonna be in my some of my videos. It's super exciting. So if you want to see your favorite Alpaca, go over to my channel. Don't go to his channel. Just go to my channel to see. Yeah, my channel's kind of whack. You, you know that. <laughs> all about that. Um, yeah. Yeah. And but that's basically it. Also, um, eat your vegetables. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You should probably take a memo from that. I think you should... you should shut your fucking mouth. Broccoli is delicious. And... I do eat broccoli. I just mix it into my potatoes so I don't have to eat. They don't have to taste it. Oh my god, broccoli's so good. You're crazy. Anyway, uh, you should eat your vegetables, viewers at home, because they are very delicious uh, and enjoyable. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Um, this has been the Yag. Again, you can find the game down below in the description uh, where you can buy it on Steam, and you should, because it's awesome. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And this is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.